Hi everyone, um, I know a lot of you are just now watching the Meta Work Monday video, just got that uploaded. Uh, if you're watching this sometime in the future, and um, I'm going to put a link to the video of this entire uh, vanity that the specific video about is the concrete countertop. So you saw in the Meta Work Monday video, you know, measuring around and, and building this frame around the uh, concrete countertop that I had already built. And I captured a lot of footage of that project, but I lost some of it here and there. And I got discouraged because it, you know, the way it turned out, I kind of, when I saw what was happening with it, I um, kind of abandoning, abandoned, you know, filming the rest of it. But anyway, so um, the real question here is, you know, is this a, a great failed recovery or just a cover up of a hack job? Now this is for my own personal use, so I'm not really, I would never give this or, or set, try to sell this to a customer, um, but I'm just curious what, what, how you guys would view it. Um, so just going to take you through, got some footage, we'll talk through it, and then let me know your opinion. So I've watched some videos, this is the very first experience with concrete forming of any kind, you know, like for this, for, for a countertop. Um, and my other experience with it isn't good either so uh, but we're gonna get it figured out so anyway the first thing we did was use some three-quarter inch melamine and cut the form uh, to the size of the dimension of the space that this is uh, gonna fit in and um, you know so we cut the base out and, and cut it to size and then uh, went ahead and cut the sides down that uh, left us with an inch and a half thickness um, here as you can see in the video there so uh, we used some three, uh, I'm sorry, some inch and five eighths inch drywall screws and then pre-drilled uh, for those and then ran those in with uh, uh, an impact uh, driver there. <clears throat> and then uh, we needed to cut out for the sink and this is a, a sink that I had ordered for this specific project. And it was gonna be an undermount sink and so we needed to cut out a foam knockout to allow the hole to be created in the concrete for the sink to go into. So even though it's dropped in right now, um, I've got bolts in it from the underside to bolt it in. I just haven't bolted it in there yet. Um, so we um, so went ahead and cut this out of concrete or out of uh, cardboard, and then uh, you know measured the outer edge. And then because it's undermount, you know the hole needed to be closed in some. So I used some scribes to, to scribe the. Uh, to get the inner edge uh, so that I would cut in the right place. Uh, so we used two, or I used two pieces of foam. It took two pieces, because that was the only thickness I could find, uh, stacked together and then cut that out. Um, and then glued that and screwed that down to the melamine with uh, some hot glue and then put some screws into it as well. And then just went around and, you know, did, did some checking uh, with the sink to make sure, you know, it was still gonna be the right dimension and all. Uh, so after that, you know, we, uh, as, you're, as you're following along here, um, used some silicone to seal up the joints and then scraped off the excess uh, with, the, you know, those rounding tools that you can get at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever. Uh, so here's where I made the big mistake. I, they didn't have the, the countertop concrete mix at any, anywhere I could find locally. Uh, in fact, even up in the Dallas area, I went into a few places there and didn't see it either. <clears throat> Even though Quickcrete and some of the others make it, I just couldn't find it locally. So I'd read online that you could use, you know, 5,000 PSI concrete mix, so I got that. Um, and as you can see here, as I'm mixing it up, I'd always heard that you're supposed to mix it really dry, um, you know, and, and that'll maximize the strength. If you make it too wet, it compromises the strength. But I mixed it too dry, you know, and it really was, you know, the, some of the videos like DIY Pete, uh, says to a peanut butter consistency and I thought that's what I had but clearly it turned out to be too dry um, so I want you know at the time as you're seeing this I didn't realize what was happening but I went ahead and put the first layer in and then in the middle I put the mesh in and I used two uh, 3 8 inch rebar rods in the front and the back where the thin areas of the countertop are to give it some extra strength there um, and when I pulled it out of the mold which is the footage I lost I had some video of pulling it out I was really bummed to see it. it was you know really porous and all the aggregate you could see all that and it was rough and 
um, you know, voids in it, and it was it was really rough looking. So I was ready to ditch it. I was just going to make another one. You know, it wasn't really that difficult to make. I was going to make another one. And I had, you know, uh, various people here uh, at the time. I had the electrician in and the, uh, the AC guys were here. And they were just like, wow, I think it turned out really cool because they saw it the day before and the day after. Um, and they didn't even really realize that I was not happy with it. They thought that's how I made it to look. So I got to thinking about it more. And it did kind of have a cool look to it. But trying to use that as a vanity, you know, with all the pores in it, you know, I think would just be a, a harbinger for, you know, to, to collect bacteria and whatnot uh, and it really wanted to seal it so here you can see I use some bar top epoxy that's really meant for wood but epoxy really most of it you know will stick to anything and uh, so because of the rough surface I thought for sure it would stick to that and it seems to have so but that stuff comes off really glossy and shiny which was not really what I was going for for this so I block sanded it which I don't have video footage of block sanded it smooth and then um, I uh, coated it with the urethane uh, concrete coating that we used on the garage floor. I had some of it left, so I just mixed some of that up and got the matte finish that, that you see. So really the, the video is, you know, is this a really excellent failed recovery or is this just a cover up for sloppy hack job work? What do you think? Let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. Thanks, everybody.